Okay guys, welcome back to another brand new video today. Sorry it has been, I think, about six weeks since my last upload. You guys will know Q4 has been incredibly busy for me. And in today's video, I'm gonna be basically summarizing and showing you how my Q4 went. I'm gonna be breaking this video down into five different sections, some positives, some negatives about Q4, things I can learn and take into this year and hopefully improve for Q4 this year of 2023. Now, very quickly, please consider subscribing if you are new around here drop a like on this video as well and if you guys need any help or have got any questions with your e-com stores feel free to drop a comment down below and finally i have created a discord server it's completely free to join i'll leave a link in the description for that it's a great place for like-minded people whether you're wanting to discuss google ads facebook ads help with your shopify store or anything in general related to business it's a great community so definitely join guys link will be in the description now i believe the best way to start this video will be simply to show you how my q4 works when. Now, if we just go onto Shopify here, you guys will know I've got two websites and two companies, one being a UK based store and one being US. So Q4 is October to the end of December. This is my results or should I say sales for my US store. So just over three quarters of a million dollars in the space of three months. Absolutely ridiculous. If you have watched previous videos, you know I made one, I think in August of last year, where I said my goal was a one million dollar q4 for both stores combined and we did absolutely smash that so if we just hop over here to the uk store and add these two together you guys can see that this done just over half a million pounds before refunds in sales which is about six six hundred and fifty thousand dollars to add those together we're looking at about a 1.3 million dollar revenue in a single quarter of 2022 i've learned a lot from those last three months of 2022 and please let me know down below as well how your q4s went now the first subject I want to briefly cover is email marketing something i am continuously trying to make the most out of and it did pretty well in q4 so this is my uk store clavio account clavio if you don't know is an email marketing software very good very easy to use you can see i sent a few campaigns in december not too many on this site i'll switch over to the us one in a minute because i did a few more over there so if we just take a look at this campaign here i'm just highlighting right now essentially what this was was an email campaign sent out to my engaged email customer list or engaged email openers should I say and it was a 48 hour warning that people had 48 hours to order for guaranteed Christmas delivery and if people ordered after this certain date which I believe I put as December 9th it may arrive after Christmas this is why it had such a high open rate because it created legitimate urgency to these people and had a very good amount of conversions 20 orders from this single email and you know almost two thousand pounds in sales generated okay now just switching over to the US account like I said again I will blow out these names and stuff like this just because it's obviously it'll give away certain things but all of these campaigns on this first page apart from the top two these were sent on January 3rd these emails were sent out in Q4 and there are a couple of the next page as well that I'll share in a minute but you can see we've got very good open rates across the board some campaigns achieving an 82% open rate really really good and the thing I want you guys to take away from this segment here really do make the most of your engaged email opener list for me the best three are 30 day engaged 48 hour and then a 24 hour engaged email lists these do extremely well for example this 82.3 percent campaign here this was an email sent to people who had opened an email from me in the last 24 hours so they're very warm you know warm traffic moving up a bit 83 percent this was sent to my 48 hour engaged email list and just to summarize when i say engaged email lists this is a list of people within your email marketing software people are within this list because they have opened an email for from you within a certain time so like i said 24 hour 48 hour and 30 days as well these email lists perform really well and as you can see the return on these campaigns was very very good some achieving you know 1500 dollars and a few over a thousand as well now next up is just something i want to quickly cover and that was the fact that black friday was not the biggest day for me last year it essentially slingshotted my google campaigns and i'll speak about this a bit later on it basically showed google that i can spend more of my budget and achieve these really good results so just for an example here you can see i'm highlighting 25th of november which was black friday i did thirteen thousand dollars in sales the day after was even better it dropped off a tiny bit but then as we approach december you can see all of these days here were beating my black friday record and this is basically down to the fact that before q4 and before black friday i was gradually increasing my campaign budgets on google even if google wasn't achieving those budgets for example let's say a campaign was spending five hundred dollars a day i would have 
have a $1,000 a day budget, but even though it was only spending $500 a day, every few weeks I would still up that budget by about $200 to $250 because I knew by the time Q4 came around, the demand would be there. It saved me doubling or tripling my budget on a single day, which can completely ruin your campaign. Gradually doing it leading up to Black Friday definitely helped. So essentially the traffic from Black Friday slingshotted these campaigns up in spend massively and allow me to be really profitable at a much higher scale. Because you can see we're doing about 5K a day here and you know, we were doing 3x that in December pretty much every single day so moving into 2023 if you're seeing consistent results all year round there's no reason why your budgets can't be two or three times the amount they are spending daily because there will be days and especially in Q4 that Google will want to spend more money and if you've got that budget allocation there that is a great thing because you will see really good results with it okay next up is the negatives that I experienced in Q4 particularly December not a lot of people will be talking about this but I'm just going to be open honest it was a nightmare for my uk site if you're from the uk you know there will have been postal strikes and things like that that caused severe delays i had quite a bit of uk stock anyway because of this and stuff that was being shipped from my fulfillment agents in china was arriving to my customers in the uk quicker than stuff i was actually posting here myself in the uk which is just absolutely crazy some stuff that i physically posted here you know to my other uk customers it was taking two weeks for royal mail to deliver these whereas from my fulfillment agents in china we use uh, different couriers like yoda and every to deliver so that was a giant pain in the ass basically and meant a lot of my orders arrived after christmas and despite my december 9th cutoff point some orders placed before december 9th still arrived after christmas because of these christmas delays as well as the postal strikes so if we go back to my uk site here if we just do january 1st to the 8th is when i'm recording this you can see i've had five thousand pounds in refunds just this month alone and that is because the amount of returns i have received back from customers this month primarily these returns are things that arrived after christmas that people were perhaps meant to give as gifts but they arrived too late so they need to return them for a refund and because i am based in the uk i've set up a po box so my customers can return their orders cheaply for a refund yes it's more work to deal with but it's part of operating a good sustainable business having a simple easy returns process for your customers definitely will keep a good relationship with them but overall the reason for this high amount of refunds is because of postal delays and issues within the uk but with the usa site not too many refunds not too many complaints because shipping times maintained you know quite quick times throughout december so the only real issues i experienced in q4 slash moving into 2023 refunds were with my uk store now part four i'm going to be sharing my google results things i learned as well in q4 this is my uk google ads account in q4 you see october 1st to the 31st of december we spent just over a hundred hundred thousand pounds 110 thousand to be exact and we achieved a 3.31 ROAS across the board very pleased with that especially at this sort of scale a 3.3 ROAS is extremely profitable for myself and you know you can see it gradually works its way up again obviously Black Friday around here December was again really good and when I started to put the Christmas delivery cutoff point on the website obviously things toned down a bit but now we're back in January things are moving a bit smoother things are improving again and here we have the US say google account you can see it is pretty much exactly the same as the uk one just a little bit more ad spend you know about eighteen thousand pounds more ad spend and pretty much the exact same rise at 3.3 again really profitable my break-even rise is only about a 1.4 1.5 so this is very good to achieve at this sort of scale now things i learned paymax is definitely the future with google if you are just starting out yes i recommend manual shopping i've got a few videos on beginner's guides for starting google ads but you're starting to see results and you are scaling pmax for me anyway is the way forward it works for my clients at my google ads agency as well but if you've got any more questions you want to ask on that specifically just drop me a message on twitter or instagram another key thing that helped me with these sort of results is search campaigns and i'm not just talking about brand search campaigns i'm talking about just generic search campaigns for your products and i will be making a video very soon on how you can structure a very good very profitable search campaign but essentially to break it down in about 20 seconds for me what worked in q4 was phrase
these and exact match keyword groups on a product level basis. So each ad group within your search campaign is a single product. Within that single product ad group, you would only use exact and phrase match keywords related to that product. And a way to find good keywords to use is using the data in your Pmax insights. Google will essentially tell you what keywords are getting you the most sales in Performance Max. Just take those keywords, put them in a search campaign, but make sure they are phrase and exact match. But don't worry, I'll be going into a lot more detail about that in a separate video very soon. Okay, the final thing I wanted to talk about is other alternative ad platforms. And for me, that is Bing and Facebook ads. Facebook ads is becoming insanely profitable again at the moment. It's almost like it's back in 2017, 18 days. Really, really good. Spent almost as much on Facebook as I did Google in Q4. This is the US account. I don't really use them too much for the UK, but for me, Facebook in the US, incredible. Absolutely insane. £108,000 spent in Q4 of 2022. And the average ROAS is 2.28. I know that doesn't seem too high, but again, the conversion tracking issues with Facebook and things like that, we all know it's an absolute nightmare. So take these results with a massive pinch of salt. If I were to estimate what they actually are, I would say they're probably about a 2.8 to a three row as, which again is really good. But even if it were 2.28, still very nicely profitable. Certain campaigns, obviously more than others, like this one here, a six row as, you've got almost pushing a three on this one. So for me in 2023, keeping and maintaining these sort of results with Facebook Facebook is absolutely key to achieving mass consistency throughout the whole year at a high level. I think I've only made one or two videos on Facebook, but now I'm starting to implement it even more. I can definitely see this working so well alongside Google. So if you want more specific Facebook or Meta ads videos, please do leave a comment down below. Okay, and finally, another ad platform that's doing really well for me, especially in Q4, was Microsoft Bing ads. If you're running Google ads and you're not running Bing ads, you are leaving a lot of money on the table now just to clear it up it's not a platform you can scale to the moon on its own and that is due to the amount of people that use bing in comparison to google it's really not many but the roas is very good on a consistent basis and you can see here this is my again my usa site seven thousand two hundred pounds spent in q4 generating me over forty thousand in revenue and if we just do return on ad spend that is a 5.75 return on ad spend just with this platform insanely insane insanely profitable. Like I said, for me at the moment on the USA site, it spends 50 to 100 pounds a day even now. I can't seem to break past that amount of ad spend, but it's just something to have running alongside Google and Facebook that is very profitable. Again, this is just a summary of my entire Q4. Different points of this video, such as this Bing ad section, I will be making a separate video, a lot more detailed on Bing ads very soon. So that is an overall summary, the good and the bad of my Q4 of 2022. Overall, very pleased, exceeded my expectations massively. Please let me know down below, again, how your Q4s went and a few things in this video, like I said, more specific in-depth videos on specific subjects like Facebook, Bing and search campaigns and Google as well will be out very soon. Other than that, please subscribe. Don't forget to join my Discord server, link down below. And I'll see you in the next video.